Hi guys, I'm Corinne. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I have a bunch of bathing suits to show you guys. So as you may or may not know, I have collaborated with Zatful in the past. I've been very happy with the stuff that they sent me before, so I was like, why not do another collaboration with them? So if ever you're going on spring break or somewhere warm really soon, first of all, I would just like to say that I'm super jealous because ugh, right now it's like minus five outside, there's snow. I'm just so sick of winter, so if you're going somewhere hot enough to be swimming, ugh, take me with you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, on a more serious note, yeah, I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked out. And I'm gonna do like I usually do, so kind of just like rate it from 1 to 10. Um, give you my overall honest impression and then let you guys know if I would purchase it with my own money or not. So let's get started. Okay, so the first bathing suit I'm gonna show you guys is probably my favorite one. So it's like this tropical leaf print bikini. Um, I really love how it's like a triangle bathing suit, but you don't have to deal with like the strings and like the little triangles moving around all the time. Um, it just closes with like a little clasp like this. So yeah, this bathing suit I got in a size medium. It fits perfectly both the top and the bottom, which looks like this. I also really like the white border detail. I'm a sucker for palm trees. I feel like anybody who lives where there's no palm trees just loves palm trees. So yeah, I just had to pick this one up. So yeah, I give it a 10 because I really there's really nothing that I could say wrong about this. It fits super well. It's really comfortable, really cute. And it was $15.99, which is pretty much a steal definitely buy this with my own money. So next is another bathing suit that I really like and it's a one piece. So I give this piece an 8 on 10. So basically I love almost everything about it from like the vibrant red color to the white um, embroidered flowers on the front and I absolutely love the back like it's really cool like the straps in the back just crisscross. Um, I find it super flattering. The only thing is I had to get it in a size medium because I was scared the bottom wasn't gonna fit. So the bottom fits perfectly but the top is a little bit like loose. Like my my boobs don't really fill up the top which I don't really mind that much and I, I'm also like a little bit eh about like this the way it's like stitched together because you always see like a little bit of the white border in the front. But I'm just being like super nitpicky because I don't know, I want to tell you guys exactly how I feel about everything. So even though the fit isn't quite like perfect, I still really love this bathing suit and I would still buy it with my own money. Next I got a bikini which has like um, mismatching top and bottom. So I give this one a 5 on 10 just because the bottoms, which are this once again palm tree um, printed bottom. Then they fit super well, really comfortable, have nothing to say about the bottom. But the top is, ugh, I don't know if you can see it like this, but you'll, I'm going to show what it looks like on me. But the little part in the front here is like way too spread. So like when you put it on, it kind of like, it's not very flattering on you. Like at least if the straps are adjustable, you can maybe like tighten it a bit or something. But I don't know, like... It kind of threw me off that the paddings were so separated, like I'm not really sure. Although I really, I believe that this is one of their best sellers so it might not, it might just not be that flattering on me but maybe if you're a little bit fuller on the top it looks nice. Honestly I really can't tell you that. So that's my situation with this. I'm not really sure if I'd wear this top but I'm definitely going to be wearing this bottom. And this one was $14.99. So basically this one. The, I got in a size small and the top fits me but the bottom doesn't which is understandable I never really fit in a size small for the bottoms um, let me just show you what the bottom looks like it's so so tiny I'm not hating if you do fit in this like good for you girl but the small is way too tiny for me I could barely even put it through like one one leg like yeah, so that was kind of disappointing, but the top is really cute, so 
it looks like this. I really like how it's kind of like geometric, I guess. It kind of looks a little bit like a, um, a bralette. So it has like these little crisscross detailing in the front and then it's like double strapped. And what's cool though is that I can wear both of these together and I find they go well together. So it's kind of like, even though it sucks that like one thing didn't fit me at the end, it still worked out because I still have a bathing suit that fits. So this green bathing suit was $14.99 as well. And I give it, once again, a 5 on 10 just because the bottom doesn't fit, so I feel like I have to just sc scratch that out. The only problem I have at the top is that it goes like a little bit high in the back. Like usually, let's say the back ties like halfway down my back, but this goes like a little bit more upwards, which kind of feels uncomfortable because I guess I'm not used to that. But I still do like the way it fits and the way it looks on me, but I'm just not sure if it's made like that or if it's kind of like just because the straps are too short. Honestly, I couldn't tell you, but I will definitely be wearing this. I find it really cute. Overall, I would not purchase like both of these bathing suits, but if this was a bathing suit, I would buy it. So um, it's kind of tricky. Honestly, I'm unsure about these two. So next I have another bikini and this one's a little bit different than the others because it's like a halter top bikini. So it's like this really cool kind of like tribal print mixed with the floral. I love like the blue and white, it really gives me grease vibes and that's definitely like my summer. Like I would love to go visit Greece this summer, that's my plan. Anyway, so yeah, this bikini totally gave me grease vibes and the bottom matches but it's like a different print which I find really cool. So it kind of reminds me of like little crabs or something but yeah, I find it really cute. It looks really nice together and this fits me perfectly. Like honestly, nothing bad to say about this. I definitely give it a 10 on 10. Yeah, I got this in a size medium. And surprisingly, this was one of the cheaper bathing suits, so it was only $11.99. Like, what? So, this one I ordered in a medium. So the bikini looks like this. It's just a simple gray triangle bikini. I honestly really love this top. If anything, I think it's my favorite. I feel like I keep saying that to all of them, but this one is definitely really nice. It's, I like how just it's simple, it's really flattering, and the straps are adjustable, which is always a plus for me. But the bottom, even though it's a medium, and it doesn't even look that small, it's just like the waistband is extremely tight. There's like barely any stretch to it. But yeah, this gray top is just simple, so you can mix it with basically any bottom that you already have. Like, it's really not a problem. This was $15.99 and I would definitely pay that money just for this top. I really like it, so. Next bikini is also a little bit different than the others because it kind of has like cups um, integrated in it, which I love bikinis like this because I am a little bit flatter at the top and these kind of give people the illusion that my boobs are a little bit bigger, which I definitely <laughs> will not complain about. So I got this one in a size small. So that explains why the bottom doesn't fit. The bottom is supposed to be this black high-waisted bottom. Mm -mm, didn't fit me. This switch is really like disappointing because I really love how flattering like high-waisted bottoms are on me. But yeah, I feel like it's a given that every girl has just like a plain black bikini bottom that they could wear, so they could definitely wear it with this. Um, so because of the whole situation with the top and the bottom, I give it a 6. But the top, I freaking love it. Like if I just had to rate the, the top, I would give it a 10 because I just find it so cute, really flattering. And also, I mean... Let's be real, if you're on the beach or by the pool, you're most likely going to want to tan and this one's super practical because you can take off the straps and then you have a strapless bikini. So I don't know, I just love this. This one was on the pricier side though, it was $21. I would probably, yes, pay $21 just for the top. But I mean, I'm saying this just like my point of view, but obviously a lot of you guys are going to order these bathing suits and like the top and the bottom will fit you. So, you know, just because I'm having this struggle doesn't mean you guys will as well, so. Yes. Moving on to my last bathing suit. This one I really, really like actually. Um, so I got it in a size medium. 
the top looks like this it's kind of has like this caged effect so the front has like this little, these three little straps and the back looks like this I really really love the back I find it so cool and unique and the bottom looks like this so I'm really happy about this one both the top and the bottom fit me really nice but there was other colors available like right now this color does nothing for me really because it's pretty much my skin color but I feel like when in the summertime when I'm tan it's gonna look really good so that's why I got it in this color so I did this in 9010 just because I love everything about it but I really wish it had padding so all of the other bathing suits I showed you guys all had padding except for this one so Honestly though, that's not going to stop me from wearing it. I really like this bathing suit. And this one was $13.99. So that was all for bathing suits. Um, the rest I'm just going to show you guys really fast. So I've really been loving velvet camisoles. As you may or may not be able to tell, I'm like currently wearing one. Um, but yeah, um, I picked this one up from Zaful. I got in the burgundy color, but it's more of like a cute pink mauve color, which I'm actually really happy about. Um, so yeah, it has like this cute lace detail, it's velvet, I got it in a size small and honestly it fits so well, it's super comfortable, you could wear it on its own or layer it over t-shirt, turtleneck, just like a really cute piece to have, so yeah, I'm really happy about this, how well it fit, I would definitely buy this with my own money, 10 on 10, I love it, it was $16.99. So yeah, the last three things I picked up are chokers. I'm going to show them to you really quickly from like cheapest to most expensive, even though most expensive is still really cheap. So, okay. So the first one that I picked up is like, um, one, it's, I've been looking for a choker like this for a while, but I couldn't find like quite the right one. It has like a little hoop with like velvet bands. And this one was $2.93. Next, I have this like lacy choker for three dollars and eighteen cents um, I don't have any that look like this I just found it really cute and pretty and like perfect for going out just like you could wear like the most simple thing and then throw this on and bam it looks like you gave a lot of thought about what you were wearing <laughs> so yeah there's this and lastly that's three dollars and eighty one cents it's also a velvet black bag. Yeah, it just has like these really cute silver pieces on it. Um, yeah, so overall I just really like all of these chokers. Really great prices. Um, I'm honestly really happy with almost everything that I got. So yeah, that was the end of my video. If you guys are going on a trip, I wish you a really good trip and a really amazing time. Appreciate the weather. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video, which will actually be very soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> Bye!